welcome to Man Cave City! Some more good news after the conversation I've just had on the phone. This little bad boy is now a permanent fixture for the Man Cave. So we've got to find somewhere for it to permanently live and just keep on printing. At the moment, it's printing a Disney sign. I attempted earlier to do a Disney key. Still learning on that. Okay, so while the 3D printer is working in a new colour on a new project, again, I'm about to experience the scaling issue again, but I've just been working on it, playing with the settings. I will do a video of this one day once I've figured out what I'm doing myself. But in the meantime, it's train time. So, in this video, I will be finishing off the roof for the train station down here. So, that one was missing a roof and people, we've got the coffee shop down here. If I turn the light on, you can probably see a hell of a lot better. There we go. So, there's that train station. So, I'm going to do this roof the same as I've done that one. Do my little print as well. And then I might try and do something with the train. But, I also need to figure out what I'm doing at the ends. Because if I'm going to be having the power pack in, yes, it's not going to be a proper functioning train or whatever. You know, people aren't actually going to be getting on and off. But again, it needs to be able to stop at the platform and go all the way across to the other side. But I want it so it doesn't go crashing through and into there. So, yeah, I've got to figure it out issue what i'm going to do with the train track same day in that end and that's what we're going to sort out in this video so with a little help from my little assistant we've got the old train station stickers on it for now haven't we show them what you're doing did you make that show them so we had to make it slightly different so we haven't got the one by four slopes yeah did you make that show him what it is so look it's a train station and now that train station's complete again and my assistant is now more worried about playing with the turtles right so in the past i had an oddly shaped track so i ended up snapping one that part is the biggest part of the two so that can go on there there's the other bit However, this end has got quite a bit of a gap to the point I can actually fit, if we can see it, a whole other piece of track on. So I'm going to have to, as we call it, mills it maybe. Is that still classed as mills in? So I'm going to finish doing this, add it on, and then possibly have to add another platform stand underneath. But I'm going to do it slightly different to the point I can put a ram on the end. Now with my Spider-Man one, I actually had a device like this. So I'm wondering if I can put that on, will that stop as a blockage? Alright, so we start with the grey at the bottom and then the white just to complete it. And then the other bit will be grey and black. Alright, so the end of that track's done with a brown support beam and then if we come over to this side that one's done also with a brown beam now all i've got to do is make the stoppers to go at the ends all right so in the style of unique mocks i have decided to build my own little train rams or what were they called buffers for the end now that actually don't look too bad i mean the buffers are probably a bit close together but they might do the job i've got an idea to change one but i'll have a look at that before i actually put them on okay it's six stood and there's five at the end i can always take a plank off that's not a problem but it'll sit like that and it should stop the train 
from falling off the end which was the original plan so yeah that don't look too bad let's have a little trial with this one before i move it now that looks a lot better doesn't look so compact and squashed so all i've done is i've added a two by six on the top of that four and then spread the uh, cones out and then put a high vis tile in the middle so yeah i think i'm going to do that one as well now and then remove that one plank and fix them down time for the test so if that's going at a decent speed there we go now if it goes the other way Okay, so the back track comes, uh, the back carriage comes off, but the blockade is firm. So is that one. So I am going to count that as a success. So this one that came with the Spider-Man train, basically supposed to have an elastic band on each side of there, and you push it down and... Oh, I ain't got no, it goes that way, so... The train will sit here and you go pew and shoot the train off. So I took that kind of inspiration, but I didn't want it just all chunky. And then that is what we've came out with. So, oh, there's a little bit of destruction on my barricade. <laughs> just spotted that. The other side's perfect. Still on strong. That's all good. So as long as the kids don't go ramming it in, at least it should stop the train from flying off the end. Plus, it completes the end of the train track. So, in this video, we've got the buffers done. The second roof is done. I've just got to change the stickers to something a bit more presentable, like I've done over that side. And the buffer's done on that side as well. So, I think with a successful video, we're gonna leave it there i think in the future i would like to do loops and stuff like that so the train can actually go around the city but for now i'll make the best of what space i've got so train station and track is complete yay just to add a bit more to it, we've got some path coming around here from the train station. I finally millsed this end bit, but I've got no more grey, so I've had to use a bit of green. And connects up to that side as well. So, my idea for this area is to maybe add a couple of food carts. So we've got the ice cream van over here and a little coffee like croissant type thing over this side because over here they can come off and go straight to starbucks anyway we've got water over there or slushy over there we've got an ice cream van here which we could move that over there maybe gives a little bit more space uh, and the fire engine can go this way just doesn't make the roads look as busy i've still got to swap that bus stop for the new bus stop because i really like the new one so that will be the main but what i'm going to do is instead of having it there i'm going to take a chunk of this path off so it will sit there so it can sit on their heads for now but that is the idea so now that the baby's awake it means i've got to go back in the house spend some time with him before everybody comes home and then we'll carry on with this maybe later on tonight okay so we're going to leave it there for now we have got a few more things to do in the city a few more ideas when i've got some more bricks i do want that asda store being brought up just to kind of fill the space a bit uh, where we've got all this open space i want some more towers like this whether i can build them or what whether I elevate the table, I don't know. Uh, what else is there? As I say, I've got to change the train station sticker, swap the bus round, 
other than that we've got a few ideas and still got a couple of builds there to do as well so thanks for watching make sure you comment down below what you're thinking so far like subscribe hit the bell and i'll catch you in the next video bye bye